I have all kinds of uh, Funko Pops throughout uh, my collection, but to be specific, 527. So we are going to see my my top 10 most expensive Funko Pops. Autographs and like prototypes do not count. <laughs> Number 10, at $56, we got the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. This is the first Funko Pop they have made for Cody Rhodes. I got this for about 30 bucks, and, you know, $20 increase is very good. And it's a, a Walmart exclusive, and this is just a really cool a Funko Pop. I mean, I just loved his return. He's having a good run. I don't know why people are saying his championship run is not bad. I mean, is bad. Coming in at $62 for number 9, we have Deadpool with Jeff. This comes in the Deadpool Seasons box. And some of these prices not may not be correct because I am getting this all on the Funko Shop. And then, and then it says trending value for that much. Look at them, but this is a really cool one. Yeah, this uh, this is my uh, favorite out of all four of the Deadpool Seasons ones because I have them all. This is the one they made for the summer. And his hands and like arms feel like weird. Like, if you see that right there. Number eight, coming in at $63, $1 more. We got the 18 inch Mickey Mouse for the, well, this is kind of heavy. For the Disney 100th anniversary, this is a Sam's Club exclusive. It's a pretty weird exclusive for your Sam's Club, but this is really cool. Like, just look at this. And it doesn't have that much detail because it's based off of the normal on Mickey Pop, but, but then instead of it being 4 inches, it's 18 inches. This is really cool. Number 7, I... There is no way this is true. There is no way. $65, we have the Spider-Man World 2211, which there's, there is no way this is 65 I don't believe it, but I'm doing the top 10 off of all of this. And at the top, for some reason, I wasn't going to put this in the video, but the Care Bear as the Bride of Frankenstein says it's $96. That's not true because you can get it for like 12 on the Funko shop. No, but I just can't. It can't be true. Now, number six, $67. We have the Spider-Man Valentine's Day Funko Pop. When when this first released on the Funko shop, I got it right, right away. I love how the box looks, looks with like the comics on the back and everything. And now for number five, jumping all the way to $82, this is the big cheese maker of them all. Shout out to cheese maker. We got the 18 inch Groot right now. This, yeah, this is, I think, better than the uh, Mickey Mouse. They got a flocked version where his like leaves are flocked. No, but this is really cool. So I, this was one of the first 18 inches ever made. And they got the little basing arm group. Yeah, this is really cool. Well, on number four, starting for your Chicago Bulls for $90. We have the Freddy Funko as the werewolf. This is him with all the candy corn colors. This is 1,200 pieces. I got this for like 11 bucks, which this is a steal, if I'm being honest. Yeah, this is really cool. Like, just look at it with the crown, just all the details on us with the color. I, yeah, I, I really love this. And there's no chase to this. There's just a, there's just 1,200 of this specific a figure. And now, number three, standing at, in a, a historic $105. We got the die cast Spider-Man chase where it's just all silver. This is... I wasn't expecting this to look this good, but it is really good. But one thing about these is that this is so cold. You can also see that it says limited edition chase up right there. I don't know why they have these two holes in the back of the head, but this does look so cool still. Up two people standing at $130. We have the Spider-Man No Way Home 8-Pack. I got this for 50 bucks at walmart they were having a clearance and look 
And then, if you also didn't know, it comes with two exclusive figures only in this 8-pack. The Lizard and the Sandman. You you can only get them from this 8-pack, which is crazy. It should have been a 10-pack, because it looks kind of weird with, like, three Funko Pops up to here, and then five down here. It should be, like, five in each with, like, Doctor Strange, maybe, because they I made a four-pack with them three and Doctor Strange. And I maybe mean, like, Ned, I don't know. <laughs> Now, number one, going from ranges to 150 to $200. Because the Funko app says it's $150, but it's, you, you know it's more than that. We have Freddy Funko as, as Spider-Man, 4,000 pieces, Blacklight Battle 2022. I think the reason why this is so expensive is, like, just because we've I never... I think this is the first ever freddy funko as uh spider-man they've ever made so a lot of people wanted this because because like you know for all those funko pop collectors that that like love funko or just freddy funkos and spider-man this is the perfect pop for you because we'll just look at that this this does look so cool if i'm being honest and like i can't believe this was made in 2022 i thought i thought this was made like a couple like well like years ago kind of yeah I don't know what SE means. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, when I thought this was fake. Oh, oh my God, I almost had a heart attack. No, but it's not. <laughs> this will be another episode of Funko Frank. Make sure to like, subscribe to help out the channel. I want to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And Popsus, thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you.